guitar style is old school. That's the best way to describe it. It's just old school. It's like punk, thrash, hardcore, early 80s. I mean, Bad Brains, Minor Threat, Dag Nasty, Black Flag, stuff like that. Um, it's fucking fast. It's really fast. But it's not what he's able to play loud, fast, and intense, but still make it listenable. You don't really hear any slow solos, so slow uh, melodic solos. You don't hear any of them. You know? it's, it's just balls out. But that's what we play. Um, you know, I've had this discussion with people before where there's a ton of guitar players out there that are really, really fast. They can move their fingers fast. They're technically proficient. They know where all the notes are. They know how to play all the notes. But they don't actually play anything cool. Like any hook, any, any riff that gets stuck in your head. Um, it's all just notes, 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 notes. It's like, you know, someone talking and talking and talking without really saying anything. They're just babbling on and on and on. But they, don't, they don't really say anything. And when Todd writes a riff, um, when he plays a riff, it's just... It's a fucking hook. Every every riff he plays, it's a hook. It's like you bob your head to it. You're like, wow, that's a cool fucking riff. There's certain things you need, in my opinion, that it takes to be a great speed metal guitarist, and Todd's that. I've actually known Bo for a couple of years before I joined this band. Uh, he was the bass player in Habitual Coercion, which is a Toledo metal band. And he was, uh, he's one of those guys where people would go see the band so they could see him play. And my bass player friend um, that I was hanging out with at the time said, you gotta go check this guy out, you gotta check this guy out. So we went to see Habitual Coercion play, and I was blown away, but it was amazing. Um, his fingers dance all over the fretboard. And uh, most bass players, you, know, you don't see most bass players playing melodically as well as rhythmically. A lot of them are just playing the movement, just stuffing out root notes. But Bo doesn't play like that. Uh, he's all over the fretboard. He's really musical. He plays a lot of melody, but he doesn't lose the bottom end. I put I put Bo's talent up there on bass with, with anyone. I put I put Bo up with uh, Alex Webster in Tampa, of course. And it was actually we played in Tampa. I know the cannibal, the cannibal guys, so <clears throat> most of them came out, and uh, after the show, Alex even approached Bo and said, hey, how do you, how, how, what were you doing, how do you do that, that one thing, he was doing some little trick with this, with this thing, and, and Alex caught it, and like, actually asked him, how, how do you do that, and it freaked fucking Bo out, because, you know, it's been it's one of Bo's fucking base heroes, you know. Should be any metal bass player's hero, Alex Webster, really. The music that they play, the music that Todd writes, is really influenced by the stuff that I was into when I was younger, because it was the stuff that he was into when he was younger. So we're coming from the same place. Um, it's easy for me to play with these guys because it's stuff that I loved. So. It's like being in a band when I'm a teenager again, except I know a little bit more. We're, we're trying to keep the our our style of speed metal, our our form of speed metal, trying to keep it like in the early like early like honest early stages of it. So we're doing like an 84, 85, 85, 86 type of speed metal thing. Like Sense for us to kind of get back into that. You know, 
pump foot works works out really well with speed metal because that's what that's what speed metal came on. So like metal and punk, and then it was like a then it was what they called the crossover period, which is like the DRI did some crossover. Like today, the best example of a crossover band, and it's not even arguably, you can't even argue with me on this point, is municipal waste. The fucking greatest crossover band out right now. Definitely. Um, and then you know, but like there's like crossover speed metal, thrash metal, it's all under the thrash category. So, well, people go, you guys are thrash. I'm like, you know, you can call it that, but I don't see it that way. I see it as speed metal, because well, I'm fucking old, and when speed metal first came out, we were speed metal then, and it's the same, we're doing a lot of the same kind of styles. In fact, you know, a couple of the songs are the same fucking songs. Um. I'm not going to say that it's not going to be this, a metal style, but the new album is going to be, it's not going to sound the same as Black Song Rising. It's going to be more of that old school hardcore sound, which hopefully everybody likes it. The speed metal is just what it is. It's speed metal. It's speed. <laughs> We're in Turkey Vulture Studios right now, and we think that we've recorded our, we've recorded our Rain and Blood this past few days here, Turkey Vulture. It's gonna be, hopefully that, hopefully you have to wear like heat sensitive gloves to even touch the CD. And just, you know, how brutal is a Turkey Vulture? Is like a, it's a pretty brutal bird, you know. It's, it might be one of the most metal birds in the bird kingdom. Out there in the bird dome. <laughs>